elbow joint anatomy, and arthrokinematics. The elbow joint, though seemingly simple, is a complex structure that allows forearm flexion, extension, and hand rotation. To grasp its anatomy and functions, let's break it down. The important structures of the elbow can be divided into a few main categories, bones and joints, ligaments, muscles and tendons. The anatomy of the elbow joint. The elbow joint enables various movements of the forearm while maintaining stability and protection of the bones involved. The elbow joint is composed of three bones, the humerus, the ulna, and the radius, each of which contributes to specific aspects of elbow joint function. Let's delve into the details of each joint within the elbow. The humeroulnar joint. Components. This joint is formed by the articulation between the trochula of the humerus and the corresponding surface of the ulna. Function. The humeroulna joint primarily enables flexion and extension of the elbow joint. The humeroradial joint components. The humeroradial joint is created by the articulation between the capitulum of the humerus and the head of the radius. Function. The humeroradial joint is responsible for pronation and supination of the forearm. The proximal radial ulnar joint. Components. The proximal radial ulnar joint is situated just below the radial head and is formed by the articulation between the radial notch of the ulna and the head of the radius. Function. The primary function of the proximal radial ulnar joint is to allow for the rotation of the radius around the ulna. This rotation also facilitates supination and pronation movements of the forearm. Carrying angle. The elbow joint has an important anatomical feature called the carrying angle or cupital angle, formed between the humerus and the forearm axes when the arm is in a standard position with the palm facing forward. Typically, the carrying angle ranges from 5 to 15 degrees. It's generally greater in females, 10 to 15 degrees, than in males, 5 to 10 degrees. Cupidus valgus deformity occurs when the forearm deviates laterally by more than 15 degrees, while cupidus varus deformity is marked by a medial deviation of the forearm by less than 5 degrees. Elbow ligaments. The elbow stability and function rely heavily on a network of ligaments that offer support and restrict excessive movement. The key elbow ligaments include the medial collateral ligament, MCL. Found on the inner side of the elbow, the MCL consists of three bands, the anterior ligament, the posterior ligament, and the transverse ligament. The medial collateral ligament primarily resists excessive valgus outward stress. Injuries to the MCL are common in activities like throwing. The lateral collateral ligament, LCL. Located on the outer side of the elbow, the LCL, also called the radiocollateral ligament, RCL, stabilizes against inward stress, varus, preventing the elbow from opening on the outer side. LCL injuries are less frequent but can occur due to traumatic events or dislocations. The annular ligament. The annular ligament encircles the radial head, holding it firmly in place within the radial notch of the ulna. This ligament allows for the smooth rotation of the radius during pronation and supination while maintaining stability. The interosseous membrane. The interosseous membrane, positioned between the radius and the ulna, is vital for distributing loads from the radius to the ulna when bearing weight on the upper limb. The orientation of its fibers facilitates efficient load transfer, ensuring stability and balanced force distribution in the forearm and elbow during different activities. The function of the elbow muscles. 
Elbow flexion. During elbow flexion, four distinct muscles come into play, with their dominance dependent on the position of the hand, ranging from supination to pronation. The brachialis. This muscle takes the lead when the arm is in a pronated position. The brachioradialis becomes the dominant muscle when the hand is in a mid position. The biceps brachii. When the arm is in a supinated position, the biceps brachii muscle becomes dominant. It serves as the primary supinator muscle and contributes significantly to elbow flexion. The pronator teres. Although its primary role is to assist in turning the palm downward, pronation, the pronator teres also lends a hand in elbow flexion. Elbow extension. For straightening the elbow, two key muscles come into play. The triceps brachii. This muscle is the primary mover responsible for extending the elbow. The anconius. Despite being a small muscle, the anconius plays a role in both elbow extension and joint stability. Elbow pronation. When it comes to elbow pronation, two muscles work together. The pronator teres. This muscle takes the lead and the pronator quadratus, which works in conjunction with the pronator teres to facilitate pronation. Elbow supination. Elbow supination, or the action of turning the palm upward, involves two key muscles. The biceps brachii. In addition to its role in elbow flexion, the biceps brachii plays a major part in turning the palm upward, supination, and the supinator, which assists the biceps brachii in forearm supination. These muscles work together seamlessly to control the diverse movements of the elbow joint, allowing for the flexion, the extension, and the rotational movements needed for various everyday tasks.